This is the pre-trip for the Class A for the automatic. As I approach my truck and trailer, it stands at 13.6. Up top, my clearance lights, my headlights, my fog lights, and my uh, turn signals are all clean, clear, and unbroken. My hood, my grill, and my bumper are secured, not damaged, not broken. My license plate and my hut sticker are up to date. Under my truck, my truck and trailer are not leaking. There's no fluids underneath. My truck and trailer aren't leaning. If they were, it'd be a broken suspension, uneven load, or flat tire. This is my driver's side engine compartment for the pre-trip. Start with my fluids. My coolant level, my coolant fluid is secured, not damaged, not leaking, filled to the proper level. My power steering reservoir is secured, not damaged, filled to the proper level. Now I'm going to go miscellaneous. My fuel water separator, secured, not damaged, not leaking. Also known as a fuel filter. My air distribution valve is secured, not damaged, not leaking air. Next, I'm going to go gear-driven things. My air compressor, power steering pump, fuel pump are all secured, not damaged, and they are gear driven. One other thing I forgot to talk about for fluids. This is my oil fill. Right here is my oil dipstick on this truck. Take it out, make sure it's below the add, or above the add, below the, the full limit. It is secured, not damaged, not leaking. Next, I'm also gonna talk about on this side, I have a water pump that is belt driven um it's secured not damaged next i'm going to go my steering my steering column and my u-joints are secured not damaged no excessive play my power steering gearbox is secured not damaged not leaking power steering fluid see the hose next is the pitman arm my drag link my upper control arm my lower control arm and also my tie rod, which is the bar that goes vertical right here. They are all secured, not damaged, connected with castle nut and cotter pins. Now I'm going to go with suspension. My frame has no cracks, bends, illegal welds. My leaf springs, my shackles, and my U-bolts, they're shaped like U's, are all secured, not damaged, no signs of missing leafs. My shock absorber is secured not damaged not leaking next is my brakes my brake hose is secured not damaged not leaking air the small wire right here is my abs which is secured not damaged my brake canister secured not damaged not leaking right here is my slack adjuster and the rod right here is my push rod both of these are no more than one inch of free play then I go my brake drum, has no cracks, bends, illegal welds. My brake pad, no less than a quarter inch. Now I'm gonna go tire. The acronym I use is TPC. T stands for tread. The tread is four, no less than 430 seconds. Cannot be recapped, they gotta be virgin tires. P stands for pressure, 105 PSI. C stands for no cuts, bulges, abrasions on the inner and outer sidewalls of my tire. My rim has no cracks, bends, illegal welds. Lug nuts, no rust, trails, or shiny threads, which will indicate a loose lug. My hub is secured, not damaged, not leaking. And my valve stem, right here, is centered with a metal cap. Next is the passenger side compartment, engine compartment. I'm going to start off with fluids. Right here is my washer fluid that is secured, not damaged, not leaking. Next is my air box, which is up here, and my air dryer, which are both secured, not damaged, not leaking. So now I'm gonna go belt driven. I already talked about the water pump on the other side. Right here is the AC, air conditioner, and the alternator right here. They are all belt driven, those two things, plus the water pump. The belt itself, no less than three quarters of an inch of play, my fan blade, secured, non-damaged, none, none missing blades. 
my shroud secured not damaged my radiator itself is secured not damaged not leaking my inner cooler tube or turbo line whatever you want to call it is also secured with metal clamps runs back to my turbo which is secured not damaged and it runs back to my exhaust which is secured not damaged no signs of black soot which will indicate a leak now for this side you don't if you called it on the other side the suspension the brakes the tire you don't have to call it on that side but if you if you do miss something over there you can get it over here next to this side of the cab a lot of this like my previous video is going to be the same so i'm going to start top down left to right up top my mirror bracket secured not damaged my door handle is working properly my weather strip is intact i have three points of contact here 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 my door is working properly right here is my light my turn signal for my tractor that is clean clear and unbroken my steps are secured not damaged right here is my if the sticker blue is the one that's up to date red is old it says 21 on it that says 22 my death is secured not damaged and not leaking my inspection is up to date back behind the cab i'm not going to worry about my airlines or my electrical yet no apparent damage to the back of my cab my fuel tank is secured with metal straps that is also not leaking my fuel cap right here secured not damaged it's secured with a rubber o-ring and a metal chain now i can talk about my frame again it has no cracks bends illegal welds in between the frame i have a drive shaft which is secured not damaged not bent or broken right here you're gonna see a bar that goes horizontal that is a stabilizer bar that is secured not damaged not bent or broken right here is a mud guard that is not that is secured not damaged now i'm going to go back to suspension i have leaf springs shackles and u-bolts that are secured not damaged not missing everything i talked about up there with the engine compartment i talk about back here i have a shock absorber right there which is secured not damaged not leaking now with this i have airbags right here they are secured not damaged not leaking everything i had before besides airbags is all repetitive so now i'm going to go brakes behind this plate right here I have a uh, slack adjuster and push rods, no more than one inch of free play. I also have brake hoses and ABS, secure, not damaged. I also have a brake canister, which let me see if you can see it. Right here, that is secured, not damaged, not leaking. Then I also have my brake drum and brake pad. No less than a quarter inch for the brake drum. No cracks, bends, illegal welds. Now we're going to go back to the tire. The acronym I use is TPC. T stands for tread. The tread is 230 seconds. Can be recapped. P stands for pressure, 105 PSI. C stands for no cuts, bulges, abrasions on the inner and outer sidewalls of my tire. Now we have duels. Two tires on the same axle. There's no obstruction in between my duels. My rims are evenly spaced. My rim has no cracks, bends, illegal welds. My lug nuts, no rust trails or shiny threads, which indicate a loose lug. My hub is secured, not damaged, not leaking hub oil. And my valve stem is centered with a metal cap. Axle two is the same as three, so you don't have to repeat it, but tell them on the road test. My mud flip covers the width of my duels, not dragging. I have backup lights, tractor lights. They're clean, clear, and unbroken. Now for the pre-trip, you're gonna be doing coupling. Coupling you will get on your test. Coupling consists of airlines and fifth wheel. That's your fifth wheel. These are your airlines. Red is emergency, blue is service, green is electrical. My red and blue lines are connected to my truck with metal fittings, connected to my trailer 
with glad hands and rubber seals. My electrical line, which is my green line, is connected to my truck, or to my trailer, to my truck, using a locking tab right here. They are all secured, not damaged, and free from the catwalk. My fifth wheel, still part of coupling. There is no daylight in between the apron and the fifth wheel, which would indicate a high hook. My fifth wheel handles in the lock position. Right here is my pivot pin that is in the lock position. Then you want to come back here. The jaws are wrapped around the shank of the kingpin. I know it's hard to see. The truck is straight and true, and the fifth wheel is properly greased. Now we're going to the front of the trailer, also known as the bulkhead. Up front, no apparent damage to the front of my truck, my trailer. My placards are in neutral position. Now we're going to the side, like reading a book. Top, down, left, to right. Up top, I have a marker light that's clean, clear, and unbroken. No apparent damage to the side of my tra uh, trailer. My inspection is up to date. I have DOT tape that runs along the length of my trailer at least 50%. My rivets are secured, not damaged, none missing. We can talk about the apron again, which is secured, not damaged. We also have mounting bolts right there that I forgot to talk about. They are secured to the platform, none missing. Right when it hooks right here in every trailer, these are when your cross members start, which are these. Think of like a floor joist. They are secured, not damaged, none missing. My landing gear itself is in the fully raised position. My handles in the travel or stowed position. And my sand pedals or landing gear feet are secured, not damaged. We're gonna keep walking. My placard's in the neutral position. My turn signal for my trailer clean, clear, and unbroken. My airlines have to be at least 18 inches off the ground, not dragging. So now we're gonna go back to suspension. My, uh, my leaf springs, my shackles, and u bolts are all secured, not damaged, not missing. I don't see any airbags back here. I don't see a shock absorber. Okay, so now we're gonna go brakes. Right there. My brake canisters, right? Secured, not damaged, not leaking. Behind them, or above them right there, you can see I have brake hoses and ABS. They are secured, not damaged. Behind those, I have slack adjuster and push rods. Notice how they're a little bit different from up here compared to the, or back here from the front of the, uh, the engine. They have no more than one inch of free play. Then my brake drum, has no cracks, bends, illegal welds. Brake pad, no less than a quarter inch. Now, also, axle four and five are known as my tandem axle or dead axle. I have a handle that's in the locked position. That's my fifth wheel handle, or uh, my, uh, my tandem handle, I apologize. Notice how I have two, uh, two pins on the rail. They slide. I have one right here. One back there. They are also in the lock position. I also have two on the other side. Now we're gonna go back to tire. Same thing. Acronym is TPC. T stands for tread. The tread is 230 seconds. Can be recapped. P stands for pressure, 105 PSI. C stands for no cuts, bulges, abrasions on the inner and outer sidewalls of my tire. There's no obstruction in between my tools, my duels. My bud rims are evenly spaced. My rim has no cracks, bends, illegal welds. My lug nuts, no rust trails or shiny threads, which indicate a loose lug. This is the odometer for the trailer. So this is my hub that is secured, not damaged, not leaking. And my valve stem, which is up here, centered with a metal cap. Axle four is the same as five. So you don't have to repeat it, but tell them. Then we come back here. My mud flap covers the width of my duals, not dragging. Next is the back of the back of the trailer. Up top, I got clearance lights, headlights or uh, turn signals, brake lights, and my license plate light. 
which are secured, not damaged, clean, clear, and unbroken. Next is the door itself. No apparent damage to my door. My placards right here, neutral position. My door is locked. I have DOT tape bumper, uh, DOT tape on the corners up top, bottom of the door, bottom of my bumper. My license plate is up to date. My bumper is secured, not damaged. And that is it for outside. Okay, now after we did the pre-trip on the outside, what we do is we come in, put our seatbelt on, and now we're gonna turn our lights on, do our light check. But when the instructor comes in, we're gonna do an ink, a static brake test, in cab inspection, tugging 50. So when we start the truck up, we are making sure we are over a hundred pounds of air. which we are well over 100 pounds of air. Now we're gonna ask the examiner who's gonna be sitting in the passenger seat, would you like me to chalk my wheels? Right here is the wheel chalk. Put that in between your second and third axle. Um, they're gonna mostly, most likely say no. So what we do now is we gotta put the truck in drive. Turn the key to the off position. Sorry. It's automatically gonna go in neutral. Turn it to the on position, just one click over to the right. Okay, and now we're gonna push in the red and yellow valves. Once the air cycles out, we're gonna have our foot on the brake pedal. We're looking for no more than four PSI loss in one minute. We have timers here. All you have to do is uh, put uh, say how much time is in. It's usually gonna be a minute. For the sake of this video, a minute's gone. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna fan down our brakes between 60 PSI and our buzzer and audible air is gonna appear. So we're gonna fan down our brake. at or before 60 PSI. Okay, you're gonna hear that and see that at 60 PSI. Now we're gonna fan down our brakes between 20 and 45 PSI for both our yellow and red valves to pop out. We're looking right here. See how they both popped out? My static brake test is complete. I'm gonna do a safe neutral start. Let's put it back to neutral. We're gonna start the truck up. And we're good for the static brake test. Next, as our uh, air pressure is coming back, see how it's low after we do our static? We're gonna do an in-cab inspection. For our in-cab, we work top down, left to right, just like what we did before. So up top, our visor secured, not damaged. Passenger window and uh, mirror are clean, clear, and unbroken. My windshield and fender mirrors are clean, clear, and unbroken. My passenger mirror and uh, passenger window are clean, clear, and unbroken. All our mirrors are adjusted to us. So now we're looking at our gauges. Up here is our tachometer right here is our oil pressure gauge. It's working properly. We have now fuel and depth for the trip. Right here, you can kind of see our voltmeter. It's reading 14.1. Voltmeter is working properly. Speedometer was working on the way here. Primary and secondary air gauges are currently building up air. Right here is our water temperature. It is working properly. Now we have our city horn. Air horn are working properly. We have our lights on for safety. We also have our left directional, right directional, high beams. And we also have our four ways, which are working properly. Our steering wheel has two inches of play. 
our brake and accelerator are free from any debris. Now we're going over here. Oh, before I do that, our wipers right here are working properly. We have enough wiper fluid in there. Now our engine brake is right here. It's off, up is off. Trailer brake is, in, is off. Um, we're gonna go over here to our inner axle differential is in the unlocked position. Air slide is in the locked position. Suspension height is in the normal position. Our defrost is working properly. Our floor heater is working properly. Now we're gonna go to the safety equipment. Behind me, behind me, right back here. I have three reflective triangles, a fully charged fire extinguisher with a pin in the green in it, and I have spare fuses up here and in the glove compartment. I also have them right here. They say fuses right on them. Most importantly, my seat belt has three points of contact. It's not cut or frayed. And that is it for the in-cab inspection. Okay, now that we have enough air pressure, we did our static, we did our in-cab inspection, we are gonna do a tug and 50. All we are doing is checking each brake individually. We have two service and two emergency. So the first thing is we gotta make sure we're over 100 pounds of air, which we are, we're good. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna push in the yellow valve. We're testing our trailer brakes. Notice how it's popped out. We're gonna put it in drive. And we're going to do two tugs to make sure we have proper connection between our fifth wheel and the trailer. Two light tugs. One. Two. Okay, it's good. I'm going to push out my yellow valve and I'm pushing my trailer brakes down. I'm testing just the tractor. Two light tugs. One. Two. Now I'm firmly connected. I, my brakes right now are working good. I push both of these in. Now I'm going to test my trailer and brake. Push, push this down and leave it down. Two light tugs. One. Two. Now I'm making sure I have over 100 pounds of air, which I still do. And now I'm going to roll ahead at least five miles an hour or 50 feet, whatever comes first. Going forward. Looking, make sure I'm over five and I am. Foot right on the brake, my service brake pedal. My vehicle did not veer to the left or to the right. My brakes are working properly. I'm ready for my skills.